previously and will continue to be there to support the wine sector in the future. The Honourable Member from Kitchener Centre. Mr. Speaker, with five of, of former World Junior players now formally charged with sexual assault, a dark cloud hangs over the sport so many of us love. One solution is anti-sexual violence training like that which the Sexual Assault Support Centre of Waterloo Region has delivered to athletes since 2015. Last year, myself and others advocated to reallocate the millions to Hockey Canada to fund these uh, trainings without success. This year, this government has another chance to step up and help root out the toxicity in hockey by funding these critical trainings and pushing Hockey Canada to do the same. Will they do it? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister for Amateur Sport. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. First, I'd like to acknowledge the incredible strength, resilience and courage of athlete survivors across this country who have come forward to tell their stories for a better sport system. How hockey has been governed in this country and the culture of sport and hockey are of great concern to all of us. Our government takes allegations of abuse, maltreatment and sexual violence very seriously, and that's why our government has launched the Future of Sport Commission. Mr. Speaker, sport is a power of good in this country, and we'll continue to make sure that sport does all that great work across this country that it can while building a stronger, more resilient sports system. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And so 